I'm Al Kozel, Program Manager for the 8.2 liter fuel pincher diesel engine. On October the 7th, we held a press conference here to demonstrate the durability of the fuel pincher diesel to members of the trade press. GMC Truck Sales Management felt it would be beneficial for you to see this story also. The durability of the fuel pincher diesel is another facet we wanted to share with the trade press. I say another facet because many of the publications were represented here two years ago when we introduced the engine. At that time, we discussed design concepts, pre-production testing, manufacturing techniques, and what we expected the engine to deliver in the way of fuel economy for the customer. And, of course, its long-term durability. But before we discuss durability this morning, it's important to remember that fuel economy is the number one reason people switch from gasoline power to the fuel pincher diesel. As of today, there are some 57,000 fuel pincher engines in service in medium trucks. Based on data available to us, the average engine has accumulated 34,000 miles. That's a total of 1.9 billion miles. And during that time, the owners of these 57,000 engines have saved nearly $250 million in fuel alone. That $250 million is more money than it cost them to switch from the gasoline power to the fuel pincher diesel in the first place. So their financial decision was well justified. But these owners expect more in the way of durability also. Diesel engines are perceived to be more durable, more rugged than their gasoline counterparts. But what about durability, the life of the engine until it requires an overhaul? At the press conference, Mr. Kozel mentioned four high mileage engines obtained from users that were displayed to the trade press. These included an early built turbocharged engine operating in this truck hauling grain, 47,000 pounds GVW with 79,000 miles on the truck. An engine with 110,000 miles from this truck owned by Carbide Sawmill Corporation of Rockford, Illinois. An engine with 301,000 miles from this truck owned by Mr. Lewis Vincent of Iron Mountain, Michigan. This truck was part of a fleet of 17 used to deliver mail, line haul, across northern Michigan, Illinois, Wisconsin, and Minnesota and an engine with 313,900 miles from this truck, owned by Mr. Bodine of Robinson, Texas. This engine we disassembled in front of the trade press. This truck was used by Mr. Bodine to deliver newspapers 450 miles a day from Robinson, Texas to Dallas. These four engines were disassembled and displayed for the trade press, so they could see not only the durability, but also so that we could explain every incident that occurred to these engines. These engines, two of which had exceeded 300,000 miles of line haul operation, were in almost brand new condition. For instance, on all of these engines, including the two that had accumulated more than 300,000 miles, all eight-cylinder bores were still within new part specifications, as were the oil pump bushings. The journals of the crankshafts were also within new part specifications. After 301,000 line haul miles of delivering mail in Mr. Vincent's truck, two of the 10 main bearing shells were still within new parts specs and the balance within service parts specification. Six of the 16 rod bearing shells were within new part specifications. The balance again within service parts specifications. The pistons were in like new condition and the rings could have continued further in service. All of the lobes of the camshafts measured within new part specifications. And the cylinder heads measured within the flatness specifications and did not require machining. These engines, after this high mileage, were almost in brand new condition. This is an example of a major fuel pincher components which have been rebuilt. When the customer has the need, for instance, the cylinder block can be bored to accept 5,000s, 10,000s, or 20,000s oversized pistons. Or the block can be bored, a sleeve inserted, and then standard pistons used. The cylinder head fire deck can be machined. And also valve guide inserts can be installed. The entire governor and turbocharger assemblies can be rebuilt. The crankshaft can be ground to accept undersized bearings and many other components on the fuel pincher can be rebuilt. 
We are confident that the fuel pincher represents the best value in diesel engines in medium trucks today. The engine is affordable in its initial price. The initial price is quickly recovered in fuel economy. The engine is demonstrating a durability far beyond that of the typical medium truck chassis. And then when the need arises, the engine can also be economically overhauled or rebuilt. You can sell the fuel pincher to any of your medium truck customers with a great degree of confidence that they will be satisfied with its economy and its overall life. Any medium truck that offers the fuel pincher engine can be used by your customers so long as that truck suits his need. You can compete with any domestic truck or any offshore competition. The fuel pincher is the best value in today's medium truck diesel marketplace. Since its introduction in January of 1980, the fuel pincher has become a leader in the medium truck industry. Customers recognize that it is the right engine at the right price. In fact, the fuel pincher has already earned more than 30% of the North American medium truck industry sales, more than any of these other engines, some of which have been around a lot longer than the fuel pincher, and customer acceptance continues to grow. During this segment, we will take a look at the results of a customer survey, as well as an analysis of competitors' published application guidelines, limited warranty, and truck prices compared with what you have to offer with the fuel pincher. How do customers feel about the fuel pincher? Through a survey conducted by an independent firm, owners of medium trucks equipped with fuel pinchers were canvassed. We'd like you to see the results. A total of 211 GMC customers were surveyed. 65% of these customers owned 10 or fewer trucks. The majority of these customers hauled between 19,000 and 33,000 pounds, and the average GVW was 26,000 pounds. The mileage profile, or the average annual miles expected, was 37,000 on a fuel pincher. When asked what fuel economy they expected, the average was 9.3 miles per gallon. The actual fuel economy of a fuel pincher was close. In fact, the average came out to 8.7 miles per gallon. Overall, the fuel pincher was rated excellent to good by 86% of respondents for ease of starting. 81% rated it excellent in fuel economy. 74% gave it excellent scores in overall engine performance. 67% were pleased with freedom from mechanical problems. And 66% said it had excellent acceleration characteristics. When asked about their overall satisfaction, 87% of the customers were generally satisfied with a fuel pincher in a GMC truck. In a previous survey conducted in 1979, medium truck owners said that the number one item that would stop them from buying a diesel-powered vehicle was the availability of service. Of course, they rely heavily on you and your dealership to supply this service. This latest survey verifies the fact that in the majority of cases, the customer takes the vehicle back to his original authorized dealer for service, making a dealership's service department a critical factor in a sales presentation. When asked to rate dealer service in various areas, 58% of the customers rated the authorized dealer excellent to good. 87% of the customers were satisfied with the fuel pincher's excellent fuel economy, cited as its number one asset. 72% would repurchase a fuel pincher. Obviously, the fuel economy story makes a big difference to customers. You can help increase your sales by communicating the fuel saving story to your customers, especially to specific markets that are prime for medium duty diesel usage. Since the diesel trend has really taken hold, there are some things you should know about the competition, the engines they have to offer, application guidelines, limited warranty and price compared with what you can offer with the fuel pincher. First, let's look at the profile of a medium duty truck user. This profile is important to keep in mind when comparing application guidelines and warranty. In the medium truck market, 70% of the customers drive less than 25,000 miles per year, hauling less than 30,000 pounds. 
another 6% of the medium truck operators drive less than 25,000 miles per year, hauling more than 30,000 pounds. That's 76% of the market driving less than 25,000 miles per year. Only 1% of the customers drive over 50,000 miles per year, hauling more than 30,000 pounds. The competition is both domestic and foreign, including IHC, Mack, Majerus, Mercedes, and Volvo. Note the number of foreign entries. If you listen to some people, they make it sound like foreign competitors are getting all of the business. When in reality, they account for less than 10% of the business in the North American market. Let's compare the competition with the fuel pincher in terms of rated horsepower, application guidelines, and limited warranty. The International Harvester 9 liter is a V8 remake of the DV550, which was originally a gasoline engine. It is available in two versions, 165 and 180 horsepower at 2800 RPM. Both versions are naturally aspirated. When comparing the application guidelines for a single axle 75 square foot frontal area truck, the fuel pincher will haul more weight, 36,000 pounds compared to 35,000 pounds, will allow a higher body, 80 square feet versus 75 square feet for IH, and can go 62 miles per hour compared to 58 miles per hour with the 9 liter. For a 90 square foot frontal area truck, IH limits the speed to 55 miles per hour, while the fuel pincher stays at 62 miles per hour. International Harvester printed guidelines stop at 90 square feet, while the fuel pincher continues to 100 square feet and on up to 108 square feet and maintains 62 miles per hour. International's 9-liter warranty is the same as the fuel pinchers. Two years, 50,000 miles, with an additional one year or 25,000 miles available for purchase, which matches the fuel pinchers P3 coverage. Mercedes has three engines to offer. An OM352, available at 130 horsepower natural and 156 horsepower turbocharged. Both are six-cylinder, 346 cubic inch engines. Also, an OM355-5, which is a five-cylinder engine rated at 180 horsepower at 2200 RPM. Mercedes states that they have no restrictions on their engines, but the GVW ranges are limited, however, and only one transmission, one tire size, and two axle ratios are available. For instance, for their L1116 chassis, they limit the GVW to 25,000 pounds at 56 miles per hour. The L1316 chassis is limited to 30,000 pounds at 58 miles per hour with a 156 horsepower engine. While the L1418 chassis with a 180 horsepower engine is limited to 32,225 pounds at 54 miles per hour. The Mercedes limited warranty is two years, 100,000 miles, with a labor prorated after 50,000 miles. Volvo has two inline six cylinder engines to offer a TD60, 170 horsepower at 2800 RPM, and a TD70, 230 horsepower at 2400 RPM. Both are turbos. Through the purchase of White Motor, Volvo has a dealer organization across the United States which has helped them get their foot in the door. Volvo is another of the foreign manufacturers that doesn't specify a frontal area, but the 170 horsepower engine is limited to 24,500 pounds at 61 miles per hour, while the 230 horsepower engine is limited to 29,900 pounds at 61 miles per hour. The Volvo warranty is for two years or 100,000 miles, whichever comes first, with the block and crank covered for 100% parts and labor to 200,000 miles or two years, whichever comes first. The key here is obvious. Another foreign entry into the market is Majerus, who uses Fiat engines. There are two inline six-cylinder engines rated at 160 horsepower and 200 horsepower, both at 2600 RPM. The 160 horsepower model is available in two GVWs, 25,500 pounds and 
27,000 pounds at 68 miles per hour. The 200 horsepower version is available in only one straight truck chassis at 29,500 pounds GVW. Majerus shows top road speeds of 68 miles per hour, but with the available axle ratios, these speeds are unattainable under normal operating conditions. The final entry is the Mack Midliner, which uses an inline six-cylinder turbocharged Renault engine rated at 175 horsepower at 2800 RPM. With the Mack connection, Renault not only has the Mack name, but a national dealer organization to support their product. Mack has no printed guidelines for applying the midliner. They use the words normal use quite often as a guide to applying this vehicle. Like the other imports, the midliner is limited by 25,000 pounds on the MS200 and 28,000 pounds on the MS300. Only two axle ratios are available. The Mack Renault limited warranty is two years, 100,000 miles, whichever comes first, prorated after 50,000 miles for 50% of the labor. You have the number one selling diesel engine in the medium truck market. You have an opportunity to reap the harvest in increased sales by continuing to tell the fuel pincher story. Competition is stiff, but no other engine, American or foreign built, has as much to offer as the fuel pincher an engine built specifically for medium trucks.